Breaking news, dozens of charges are filed against the local couple whose gender reveal sparked a deadly fire. CBS 2's Nicole Comstock is live in San Bernardino where those charges were just announced. Nicole? Yeah, Pat, the community has been waiting for eight months to find out whether or not this couple who lit the gender reveal device and started this massive and deadly wildfire would be criminally charged or not. And now it turns out they face many very serious charges. Take a look at the charges the DA just announced at this press conference behind us here in San Bernardino. Refugio Manuel Jimenez Jr. and Angela Renee Jimenez, a husband and wife, now face eight felony counts, including one for involuntary manslaughter, as well as 22 misdemeanor counts related to reckless behavior that led to a fire. Now, to put that into perspective, here's a reminder of what the El Dorado fire looked like. It started back on September 5th of last year in El Dorado Park near Yucaipa. It was sparked accidentally when the couple lit a pyrotechnic device meant to blow out colored smoke to reveal the gender of their baby on the way. Well, the flames burned over 22,000 acres in Oakland and Yucaipa Ridge. Nine homes were damaged or destroyed, and it caused $8 million in damages. Here's a photo of the 14-year veteran firefighter who lost his life fighting the El Dorado fire. His name was Charlie Morton. He was a well-respected and skilled crew boss with the San Bernardino National Forest. Here's what the district attorney and sheriff had to say about the difficult decisions that came with filing these charges. The conditions that were created that led to the firefighter's death uh, were a direct result of the fire in the first place. I mean, he's fighting a fire that was started because of a smoke bomb. That's the only reason he's there. This is a very complex case, and it also involved very impassioned feelings on both sides of this issue with both families. Well, the defendants pled not guilty to, their, to these charges and were released on their own recognizance. Reporting live in San Bernardino, I'm Nicole Comstock, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Nicole.